I normally say welcome back to the King's Corner, but I'm back on the road again, so welcome back to the King's Mobile Corner, I guess. Uh, I also want to say I'm sorry about the podcast yesterday. It was brief and it was very, very laggy. I don't know what happened to the internet. I'm very sorry about that. Uh, Wolfman's not here today, so I wanted to sneak one in yesterday. So I'm giving you this one today. I didn't want to go back online today just in case something happened with the internet. But I also had something on my mind and on my heart, so I want to jump right in and give it to you today. You know, uh, something is going on on the internet, on YouTube, and it's a lot of negativity, and I'm sure you guys are seeing it, and it's really bothering me. It's really uh, awful, the negativity that's going on that's surrounding Fallout 76 and Bethesda right now. Uh, I saw today, and the, well, I saw it first the other day, there is a petition that is called Keep the Lone Wanderer Wondering Alone. And as of this morning, over 12,000 people have already signed this petition to not play Fallout 76. And I'm sure there's probably other petitions out there. This is just one that I've seen. I've also seen uh, so many videos ranting about Fallout 76. And I'm talking about from famous YouTubers and uh, some of them who are normally pretty positive. Uh, and that just makes my mind harken back to, oh, I don't know, another Fallout game and other videos where they, they were ranting and ranting and ranting for two or three years. What was that Fallout game that they ranted about for two or three years? Oh, yeah, that was Fallout 4 that they hated. That single-player game that they hated. And then there was another one before that. Oh, yeah, that was the game that now they call the greatest Fallout game of all time. Uh, they ranted about for having so many boats, which it did, but uh, my point is people love to hate. They love to hate Bethesda. They love to hate Fallout. That's why I called it this. We live in a culture of hate. We live in a culture of negativity, and it, it's, it's terrible. Uh, I have a piece of advice, and, and not for my channel. I'm not preaching to y'all. I have a wonderful channel. I would just want to get this uh, right out there in the open. I have had 99% uh, positivity on this channel and I appreciate y'all so, so much. Y'all don't know how much your uh, wonderful comments have meant to me and it's encouraged me. I, right off the bat, my son told me when I started this channel, he said, Dad, you're going to have negative comments. Don't listen to them. Don't let them affect you. And I know I'm going to have negative comments and we'll talk about those in a minute. But y'all have been great and I appreciate that. So I'm talking to, to the other people out there and uh, YouTube that are being so negative and so uh, terrible about this. But but my advice is, listen, there is no developer that is perfect. There is no game that is ever going to be perfect. So if you cannot learn to enjoy what is given, you're going to be miserable. Uh, Fallout 76 is not what I wanted, no. But I'm excited about it. I'm excited because it is something different. I have an open mind. And I have uh, had an open mind and researched it, and there's some things that are really exciting about it. Uh, now, I could uh, be negative and look at it in a negative mind and get myself all worked up. And that's what people have done. You know, it's really your choice what you're going to do. You can dwell on the negative and get yourself all worked up, or you can dwell on the positive and get yourself excited, okay? We live in a culture of negativity and selfishness. And yeah, I'm preaching again, but hey, I'm a preacher, so, you know. Uh, it, it's your choice whether you're going to enjoy life or be negative. And it, it's really, really sad that, that YouTube has become a, uh, a channel of negativity. It's, it's really, really sad. Uh, this is a commercial to save player one. They are hating on Bethesda now for making that commercial six months ago. Uh, they're actually using that commercial against Bethesda, like uh, Bethesda has abandoned the very thing that they made. Now, now think about this, guys. That was done six months ago. Uh, Bethesda already had Fallout 76 done when they made that commercial. And people are saying, you know, they, 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 they abandoned what they said. No, they made that saying, hey, we're, we're not abandoning y'all just because we're making an online game. Single players is who Bethesda Game Studios is. Uh, this is just something different they're doing. Why, why can't we let them do something different? 
If every developer in the world does something different, why can't we let Bethesda Game Studios do something different? Uh, you know, and I think that's another reason why they announced Starfield and why they announced Elder Scrolls. Can you imagine what these uh, fickle fans would have done if at E3 this year Bethesda would have announced an online Fallout and a mobile game uh, Elder Scrolls, The Blades? If that's all they would announce, can you imagine what the fans would have done? Oh, they would have gone ballistic. They really would have gone ballistic. But they went ahead and announced Starfield and the project after that to say, hey guys, we are still single player at heart. That's who we are and that's what we're going to give you. Uh, so what do we do? I, 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 again, and I'm talking to my channel now, who I know are positive people. You know, I've even heard from a lot of you guys who are like me, who are single player guys, and even some of you that say, I'm not going to play it, but y'all been positive about it. What can we do to all those people that are ranting? A lot of the big time Bethesda YouTubers that are just ranting about it. What can we do? I've got two things that I think we can do. And I really think we can make a little bit of a change, make a difference. Number one, we can be an example, guys. We can always make sure we watch ourselves. That when things don't go our way, when, when we don't get exactly what we want, again, it's our choice whether we look at things in a positive way, when we look at to see what, whether we're gonna be thankful and see what we're thankful for, or we look to the negative. You know, there's a song that talks about counting your blessings or whether we work ourselves up into a, a frenzy, okay? So always look to the positive. You'll be happier too when you do that. And then number two, when you come across a hater, and I'm preaching to myself on this one. This is what my son told me, okay? When you come across a hater, it's kind of like the old saying goes, haters are gonna hate, you know? That, that saying came up uh, as a way of saying, you know, just let them be. But uh, it, it doesn't mean totally leave them alone. Don't argue with them. You're never going to win hate versus hate, okay? Don't don't argue with a hater. But you can tell them why you're positive. You can encourage them. Just don't argue with them, okay? So be the example and encourage them and then leave them alone. Absolutely. I think we can make a difference. Uh, I, I don't like this culture of hate. I don't like to see it on YouTube. Now I want to leave you with this. On that petition, on the very petition that is trying to get people not to play this game, okay? I want y'all to get this and think about what's going on. In this guy's very own words, this is what he writes, okay? And I'm not gonna read you all of it, but this is his opening paragraph trying to get people to not play this game. This is what he says. Since 2008, Bethesda has given fans, fans, the opportunity to roam vast wastelands, to take part in epic adventures, to create stories to tell for years to come. Now, did you hear that? Did you hear what he says that this developer has done for him? Now, can you imagine? This, this developer has done this. I'm going to read that again. They have... <sighs> given fans the opportunity to roam vast wastelands, to take part in epic adventures, and to create stories, huh, to create stories to tell for years to come. I gotta take my glasses off because I don't have eye focus. <clears throat> so this company, this developer, has done so much for this person that this person wants to punish <laughs> this developer just because this one game is not exactly what this guy wants. Now let that sink in. This developer has done so much for this guy that he wants to punish them because it's not exactly what he wants. Now how sad is that? So think about it. He's using the internet to try to punish this company. And YouTubers who are supposed to be Bethesda YouTubers are using YouTube to try to punish Bethesda because they didn't give the game that they exactly want.
that's been on my chest today. So I know I probably get some hate for that, but that's the way I feel. People love to hate on Fallout and Bethesda. As for me, I keep an open mind. I'm going to enjoy this. I'm going to let Bethesda make this game. And then I'm going to look forward to Starfield and to the Elder Scrolls. And I hope you will too. And I hope you will keep a positive attitude and encourage all those haters out there. And maybe we can conquer this culture of hate that we live in. Guys, I'm thankful you stopped by the King's Corner today, and I want to encourage y'all. I'm not begging for money, but I do want to encourage y'all to stop by my Patreon page, and let me tell you why again. Uh, because of my lupus, it's the only work I'm doing. I decided to make this my living, and I'm not getting paid by YouTube at all. My Patreon page is all that I'm doing, and if y'all go over there, you'll see right now I'm getting $19 a month. So uh, that's what I'm making a living on. So if y'all want this content to keep coming, some of y'all are going to have to go over there and do something, please. Uh, any amount would be great. A dollar, five dollars, anything. Uh, please check that out. And hey, if you've not subscribed, hit that button. That's free. But thanks for being a part of this channel, guys. I am the King Fan Man. I'll see you next time.